Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Hope this never happens to you. It really sucks when it happens. You got the food emptied on an old fridge, replacing it with a new fridge, and the fan is not running. I'm uh, going to show you how I was able to troubleshoot it and figure it out. But you got a judgment call here. You might want to call it in under warranty, but of course I had food that was going to go bad. I can get it right away. So uh, here's what I did. Uh, right here, this little clip keeps the shelf steady so you can't pull it out. Once you pull that clip off, now you can slide it over and then lift the shelf out. And that'll give access to the uh, back panel where the fan is. Now what I wanted to do was get back there and pull the fan forward and try to spin the fan by hand, see if maybe the fan motor was stuck itself. Most times that's it. Uh, it wasn't the case on this one. Um, it's got two screws that hold the back panel on, so I just loosen those two screws. Some of them, this channel actually lifts out, and uh, that wasn't the case on this model. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's a brand new fridge, brand new design, a little bit figuring out there. Uh, anyway, pulled the uh, back panel off, tilted it forward, and uh, gave the fan a spin and nothing happened. Now I knew it wasn't in the defrost mode uh, because the compressor, you can actually hear the compressor running. If it's in the defrost cycle, the compressor would be off and it would just run power to the heater coil and do uh, melt any ice and defrost uh, the uh, freezer. Um, anyway, turned out to be really easy. It was actually just a loose connection on the defrost um, to the defrost control so just adjusting that plug a little bit everything kicked right on fan motor kicked right on and uh, got lucky it's not always so lucky these generally have one screw that hold the front end and that allows you to pull it down and then pull it forward and it's usually got kind of a, a, a socket that the back of it plugs into or, or seats into and that's how the back part of it uh, is held in place so it's, you know again it's usually one screw some of them the defrost coil you can actually get to it to turn it you can check my video on that to see if you had a refrigerator that suddenly stopped and nothing was working uh, but on this one again it was just a loose connection to the defrost uh, timer not the control the defrost timer anyway thanks for watching kung fu maintenance over now uh, easy fix on this one got lucky able to get the food back to nice and cold and it's always good to be right. What's that?